So before we're going to try to do some example questions concerning the volume and the surface area of a sphere, I just would like to give you the formulas yeah? and also to show you what is a sphere. Now a sphere is, if you like, a three-dimensional circle. Yeah. So can you think of any examples in real life about what a sphere is? Uh, so this is just a sketch. Can you think of anything? Well, I'm from Holland. Um, and there's one thing we're really good at, that's football. Eh? So football, for instance, is a sphere. But I could, yeah, you could say that the globe, eh, the earth is also a sphere, or an orange, or a ping pong, uh, uh, tennis table, ball, eh? anything, yeah? A three-dimensional three circle, yeah? And how do we find the volume of a sphere? Now, these formulas you need to know are given to you in the question, so you don't have to memorize them. Okay, not anymore. So the volume equals four over three pi yeah, circles r to the power three. So again, that formula will be given to you when they, whenever they ask you a question about the volume of a sphere. Okay, four over three times pi times the radius to the power three. And what is the radius of the sphere now? Well, that is that point at the center of it and then the length of that line to the circumference, to the surface area of your sphere. And that is still the radius. Yeah. Now the surface area of a sphere, and again that is a formula they will always give to you, but that is 4 pi r squared. That's a 4 times pi times the radius squared. That's going to give you the surface area of that sphere. Okay. So again, not something you have to remember, uh, still useful to know. Now, we're gonna try a few example questions. Yeah? I just would like to say, uh, before we do so, we also have a hemisphere. Yeah? And a hemisphere is half a sphere. Yeah? So you have, uh, if this would be the world, you have the southern hemisphere and the northern, northern hemisphere. So a hemisphere, if I sketch that, looks roughly like this. And of course you can, do all sorts of questions uh, about a hemisphere, okay? Because what is now the surface area, for instance? Let me just look up that one, yeah? So if this is not, it's not hollow, so it is a solid, eh? What is the surface area of this hemisphere? Well, they're gonna give me this formula, yeah? that is the surface area of a sphere. So half a sphere, pi r squared, uh, four pi r squared, then it's gonna be divided by two. Isn't it? Because I only have half of it. Yeah, but hang on a minute. It's solid. So I now I have to add this part of the surface, which is a circle, pi r squared. Okay? So although you do not have to remember these formulas, you still have to be able to analyze them critically. Look at the situation. What is going on? Yeah, a hemisphere, so divided by two. But when it's a solid, yeah, so it's not empty, you know, it's a solid, then I have another circle there at the surface, plus pi r squared. Anyway, let's have a look at those example questions to see if we can confidently apply our, um, and use these formulas. Okay, I'll see you there.